There are some weird things out there in the world, some still to be discovered or explained, from airplanes arriving out of thin air to the oldest human-made sphere ever discovered. Here are 15 of the weirdest things found in unexpected places. Number 15. Boeing 737 abandoned in Bali. Planes popping up out of nowhere, you'd think, is something that wouldn't go unnoticed. Somehow, this plane managed to skate by unnoticed, and the answer to this day has yet to be revealed. How the heck does a 737 manage to skate by anything? Those engines can be heard from miles away, let alone landing in your backyard. Apart from the fact that someone once tried to turn the plane into a restaurant, little is known about it. There's no signage, no records, no box, nothing. Somebody could have towed it there, which would explain the sudden appearance and lack of noise, but not the why. Nobody had the proper towing equipment to move such a behemoth, so idle it sat. Once the restaurant venture buckled and the mystery spread, it became a popular tourist attraction. To be fair, it's common enough to find abandoned planes in Bali as it is to find a Dunkin' Donuts in any major city. In fact, about five miles north of this 737 sits another 737 and it's adjacent to a Dunkin' Donuts. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly! Aww. Number 14. House Full of Snakes Moving into a new home can be one of the most challenging aspects of human life, especially nowadays, and the cost spike. There are also concerns about picking the right home, ensuring no problems persist or soon will, etc. In other words, it's just a bit more complicated than walking into Target and shopping for your new dream home. Okay, a lot more complicated. It's for reasons like this that we stress the issue. Imagine moving into your new home. You and the family are relieved and excited to be settled. A few days in, you start to relax into the comforts of your new home. As it arrives, it's stripped away. The constant slithering sound kept the family awake at night, but they had no idea where it was coming from. Upon further investigation, they uncovered a den of snakes living beneath their home. Not one, not two, heck, not even 50, but over 150 snakes had made themselves a cozy nest beneath the house. Whenever the snakes wanted to pop up and say hello, they'd just crawl through the cracks in their sidewalk or up through the sewer drains. The family started seeing snakes daily in the sinks, toilets, and even the shower. Upon move-in, the family had a gorgeous view of vast open fields and snow-covered plateaus. Now they can't step out of bed unknowingly without risking a bite. Really, the scariest part of this whole thing is how harmless the home looked with just a glance. Even after a home inspection, no red flags were raised. Number 13. Lost Luggage Capital of the World When it comes to lost luggage of the nation, this stash of unclaimed items is as big as they come. Believe it or not, some crazy items get lost in transit. You'd be surprised to find something that would surprise you. It's thrift shopping on roids. Somewhere along the journey, bags and owner became separated. It might have happened on the plane, carry-on luggage shifting in flight, or maybe it never made it out of the plane at all or on a different one. All in all, the airline entrusted to thus deliver the lost item to its owner makes a second mistake by misplacing it or sending it on another wrong flight. When it never finds the owner, it ends up here at the nation's lost luggage stash, where you can purchase a new iPad as assuredly as an Austrian horn. If the comparison seemed wildly different, that was the point. These are people's belongings after all, so the items found here can be as varied and unique as humans themselves. The store's motto is literally, you never know. Just to clue you in on the idea behind the stash, you never know what might turn up one day or another. Number 12. The Kalkaska Shoe Tree You might be asking yourself, what the heck is a shoe tree? And you wouldn't be alone. No, it's not just a nickname for a specific type of tree. It's simply a tree covered in shoes. It's as literal as you can imagine it. Is that tree blooming shoes? Though that would be one heck of an invention, it's not the case. Throughout the year, the bizarre shoe tree has turned into a local icon for those traveling along Route US 131 M66 and has been for decades. Yeah, you heard that right. Decades of shoes are up there. But why? Good question. Its exact origin is unknown, though most likely say it was started by students from a local high school a little down the road. Over the years, as the high school kids passed on the tradition, the shoe collection grew. It's grown in scale and numbers. Today, even neighboring trees have been decorated with soul, rubber soul that is. A constantly updated social media presence keeps all in the loop of these laces. Number 11. The Missing Posters 
Here's a true tale reminiscent of the Blair Witch Project for you. A hiker traveling through the woods of New York revealed a terrifying discovery, a trail of a dozen missing person posters, all of the same individual. The paper had begun to yellow as its edges age and wear. Feeling curious, the hiker followed them. When he arrived, he was even more horrified than before. A cage made of thick wooden sticks littered with tattered clothes. This was the last straw for that hiker. Flooded with fear, he ran from the site as fast as he could, faster and longer than he had ever thought he could manage. Running straight to the nearest police station, he reported the incident to Suffolk County Police. After a brief investigation, authorities concluded that the site was set up by a nearby resident who set up the site for their Halloween party. It was confirmed by the individuals. Still, you have to watch where you put these types of displays, especially on public grounds. Hey, most people probably would have reacted in a similar manner. I know I would have. Number 10. Weird White Orbs The ocean is a crazy place. It's also a constantly changing place, as is exemplified by this strange occurrence. Thousands of white orbs have scattered the length of this beach in a spectacle unlike anything ever seen. According to researchers, a few of these pearls, as they've been dubbed, are nothing new. To this density, an encroachment onto the beach, however, is brand spanking new. Something is clearly churning in the waters that are going unnoticed. Other strange behavior of different aquatic creatures in the area as well gives testament to this theory. After a brief news report recounted the scene unfolding on the beaches, people in the area amassed and flocked to trek the beach and catch a glimpse of the strange orbs themselves. They may look like pearls, but I assure you they aren't as valuable, if at all. It lives near the coast of southern Brazil, Uruguay, and Argentina and can grow up to 8 inches. In massive quantities, these carnivores can decimate an area. With that being said, the number washing up on shores is a troubling sign the snails are growing out of control. Being as carnivorous as these creatures have been known would prove a hostile environment for many other species living there. Experts now suspect this is leading to the strange behavior of other creatures in the area too. It's the ripple effect. Number 9. Eternal Africa Installation You can't deny how awesome this is. A German Namibian artist named Max created this art piece and dubbed it Toto Forever. In an undisclosed location in the 1200 mile long Namib desert, there lies his work, a few pieces held together by wire and solar powered systems set to play Toto's famous song Africa on repeat for all eternity. You heard that right, somewhere in the middle of the desert, instead of an oasis of water out there, you might find this art piece. A beat to dance to before dehydration sets in. According to the artist, the desert on the west coast of southern Africa is around 55 million years old, making it the world's oldest desert and the perfect spot for his work. When asked whether his work was poking fun at the tendency of non-Africans exploiting the continent, he said there was a lot to say about western stereotypes in the work, but was meant to explore the lighter things so everyone could enjoy it. The only problem is that you can count the number of people to ever see it on one hand. At least, that I've reported on doing so. Number 8. The Hidden Apartment Most of us dreamt it, the majority of us accepted it. Seems this footage has opened the floodgates to the dreamer once more, proving that secret rooms do exist out there. Time to put back on your adventurer helmets. If you've never had that imagination as a kid, first off, I'm sorry. But here's a real-life example to get those creative juices flowing. For months, Samantha Hartsoe attempted to pin the source of a constant, excellent draft flowing through her apartment. She checked every seal, her doors, the vents, nothing. Bree seemed to emanate from nowhere but returned as certain as the sun was to rise. On a windy day, the draft was particularly strong, easy to follow. Mysteriously, the draft led directly to her bathroom mirror. Already submerged in the curiosity, she went to work at removing it from the wall. What she found was magical enough to fulfill even the wildest dream of discovering secret rooms in your home. An unfinished, two-story vacant apartment. Living in New York apartments already leaves most strapped for space, so there's always some little hope in the back of residents' minds that new and more space will suddenly become available. That dream typically doesn't end in such a manner. Lucky for Samantha, it did. Keep your heads up, NYC. There might be another apartment behind that mirror. Number 7. The Beast of Mobile Cave Here's the proof you need to call up your parents and scold them for lying to you that there's no such thing as monsters living under your bed. Granted, much deeper than your bed, but monsters nonetheless. Look at that. Two instances on this list prove that we were right as kids. There lies a barren, featureless plain as dull as a freshly primed wall for painting in the southeast of Romania near the Black Sea and the Bulgarian border. The desolate field is unremarkable at first glance, but it's not what's above that's troubling. 
like the wallpaper beneath the primer, the world below is what's terrifying. Writhing tens of feet beneath the ground lies a cave that remains isolated from the outside world from all air and light for five and a half million years. While our ancestors were learning how to make fire and the wheel, the inhabitants of this underground pit haven't thrived in their Plato's cave of a world. In other words, their lack of knowledge of an outside world. Despite the complete absence of light and a poisonous atmosphere dense enough to kill a human upon inhalation, the cave is sprawling with life. Researchers suspect there to be upwards of hundreds, if not thousands, of undiscovered species of spiders, scorpions, wood lice, centipedes, and the completely new. Whatever is down there, it's going to be creepy as all get out to have survived such harsh environments for so long. Undisturbed to this day, what else could possibly be down there? Number 6. SpaceX debris found by fishermen. When a fisherman managed to haul a good score, it's always a great feeling. Now imagine pulling up million dollar components by the pound. That's precisely what happened to this fisherman in Florida who was in for a surprise this fine day. They had discovered the dragon's door, easily identifiable by the logo on its side. Though it was just bobbing along in the ocean, it was held upside down because it was still tied to one of the parachutes. The weight of the parachute and inflatable capability of the door allowed for a bobbing motion that actually propelled it forward. Even if it didn't, the waves would provide ample power to move it. Number 5. Lambay Island Wallabies Located a whopping 10,000 miles from their native land of Australia, a group of wallabies have made Lambay Island home for 25 years and are growing in numbers. How the heck did a wallaby get to an island so far from their home? In the 1980s, Dublin Zoo had a sudden and uncontrollable rise in wallaby reproduction. The kangaroo-like creature started hitting a dangerous capacity when zoo officials grasped at straws as to where to relocate the growing family. A large island was chosen and half the population was relocated. They've since thrived. The question thus is, what happens when the island becomes overrun? Another one? Survival of the fittest? No one knows, but we're quickly approaching such conditions. Number 4. The Bosnian Sphere In a forest in Bosnia, just outside the town of Zavirovici, a controversial archaeologist once discovered a giant stone sphere. It since captivated the science community and inspired countless theories as to its origins. It's impressively large, 4 to 5 feet in diameter, and has a remarkably high iron content. The craziest part of all of it is the body was buried with only the tip popping out of the ground. Upon initial discovery, the archaeologists had no idea of its true scale and how deep it ran into the earth. The remarkable discovery could be the oldest stone sphere ever made by humans. Whether it was buried on purpose or over the course of millions of years has yet to be revealed. Number 3. Siberian Beach Snowballs Siberia is notoriously cold. It seems Mother Nature is encouraging residents to a snowball fight by supplying a surplus of them all on her own. Footage shows the Siberian shore piled with snowballs as far as the eye can see. How this occurred is still baffling experts. We're not talking a few snowballs here or there, we're talking 11 miles of densely packed snowballs that could break a window. It's like the ocean rolled a million snowballs overnight and spit them out by morning. Can you imagine the snowball fight you could have with this kind of event? Actually, they're ice hard, so skip that. Siberia, if this becomes a regular natural occurrence, you need to hold a massive international snowball fight. Please, who wouldn't want to be a part of that? As of present, the ball suspected to be chilled orbs that washed ashore due to a rare environmental process. Experts suspect small balls of ice formed in the freezing, rolling waves. Over time and drastic temperatures drops, they end up as giant snowballs by the time they find their way upon a beach. At the center of these snowballs is a solid piece of ice, so maybe a snowball fight isn't the best idea. Thought they would fly like none other. I see some black eyes and bloody noses resulting from that sport, so maybe it should be up there with MMA. Maybe an extreme snowball fighting tournament. Number 2. Sewer Diamond Ring If you accidentally flush something down the toilet, it's as good as gone. Sure, you can call the city and let them know, but the odds of someone going and taking a look anytime soon is unlikely. Just say goodbye and let it go. Eventually, when maintenance is conducted, workers turn up some incredible items. With no way of knowing who the objects belong to, they tend to keep turning over the objects, whether it's an accident or on purpose. Once it goes down that drain, there's little chance the owner of the property will ever see it again. This story proves anything is possible. A woman from New Jersey found her wedding ring in a sewer a whopping nine years after she accidentally dropped and flushed it down the toilet. She was 66 years old when she received the news that the ring had been found. 
She said when she answered, she wasn't expecting to hear public services on the other line, certainly not for the reason in which they called. Informing her they found her missing ring nearly made her black out. The ring was worth a few tens of thousands of dollars. She said to be reunited with it was like being reunited with an old friend, one where memories of a past husband's romance came flooding back. Funny how a simple object can conjure so many memories of a time past. Number 1 Buried Ships of San Francisco San Francisco has one of the richest histories in all the United States. As many port cities have, San Francisco has seen its fair share of ships, from cargo to migrant ships. San Francisco soon became a ship graveyard. They needed a place to put all those hulking boats. Beneath modern-day San Francisco's financial district lies the remains of more than a dozen ships that once brought workers to San Francisco during the gold rush of the mid-19th century. These ships were beached near what was then the tiny Mexican village of Yerba Buena. In those days, the bay's waters encroached up to Montgomery Street, the site of the historic and iconic Transamerica Pyramid that draws tourists from all over the world. As the city thrived and grew, and so did their housing and commercial land needs, the cove was filled, effectively erecting the downtown that you visit today. Many of the ships that dropped anchor there never moved and provided for much of the city's filling that now stands atop them. Since they would have just been moved to ride on some beach, this is a better alternative. Though they're encased in concrete, they still exist down there, helping keep strong the city above. Weird things happen all the time. It's just a matter of perspective. It's when those events baffle even the most astute on the subject where the wild theories and suspicion fall into the picture. It's right up there with myth, legend, and story emerging, the unknown. One thing is sure about our planet, there will always be some new, weird, and unexpected thing to discover. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get all our content delivered right to your inbox.